I was privileged today to take over the space of the country director, Plan International Kenya. Uh, I was able to attend a meeting with him on supply chain. I also came up with a, an idea to engage the community people in whatever they are doing to provide service to their projects. I came all the way from Kisumu County to Nairobi County to come and take over the seat of the country ed uh, tattoo city, that is Mr. Preston Mendenhall, where I chaired a meeting uh, with the public service where they do have their weekly meeting. I have taken over the office of the city management and it has been an amazing experience. I'm so happy, I have learned a lot. I took over from Selim, the chief finance officer. She has given me skills and maybe I've learned a lot, even from her background on how she's courageous. She, she managed to get opportunities and never underrate them. And I'm happy. I've come to take over in the country, representative office of the UNICEF, and I'm very happy for this opportunity because I've been able to engage with the staff that are working, to know what they are doing, to know their plans and their programs, how they are doing it. In this takeover process, a girl comes and take over the role of the country director. Numerous takeovers with the embassies, where the girls are going to take over as ambassadors and the CEO. We try to encourage them to occupy leadership space, have the ambition to become leaders, be inspired, and then also ask questions with the power holders. It uh, so happens that my title on, on uh, any normal day here in Nairobi is Denmark's ambassador. Uh, I'm very happy about that. But today, I am not the ambassador. Today there's a magnificent girl called Elizabeth. That's the Danish ambassador. She's doing the girl takeover. That shows us how important it is to work with girls, give them opportunities, give them space, and a possibility to, to demonstrate who they are, show their strength. I was so excited when I heard about the initiative and when I heard that we'd be getting you know, some young women coming over to Tattoo City for them to just get to experience um, you know, what a typical day is like to get to be empowered and to be inspired in, in a different capacity beyond what they're used to. One of the challenges, even beyond um, the issue of gender inequity, is poverty, and especially like in poor communities. It's so hard for them to look at life beyond what they're used to, and to know that there's, there's more that happens, that even in, in whatever they think that is their small voice, they can still come in and they can still make a huge difference. We still have to keep talking about girls' empowerment. So it's very important for us, institutions like UNICEF, like um, PLAN and the member states must keep aside considerable funding to ensure that the girls um, undergo and complete education, have opportunities that enables them to uh, move ahead in the professional career, um, they're able to do well for themselves, they're in better charge of their life. As I stand here as the UNICEF country representative, I would like to call upon all the departments and programs to provide opportunities for young girls like me to air their voices by ensuring that in each and every engagement in the community, world level, country and national level, at least as a represent representative of one girl. These young girls, they have the capacity, they have the power. So the power holders will really be giving them the opportunity to express and demonstrate their ability and capabilities in leading. We want to involve them in leadership now, so we encourage many stakeholders, whether government, private business or NGO, to involve young people in addition making table so that they can, they can make important decisions in matters that affect their life. I am motivated since the head of the city manager, she's a young lady, she's much focused into her work and she talked to us and she said when you feel like you are giving up, you should just say one more time and that is a term that I am going to even tell my girls back in the community, 
yeah that whenever you feel so low and you feel like giving up you just say one more time and start start up again girls take over it's an next experience it gets to give the girls an opportunity to become leaders so for the opportunity that plan international has given me i'm very grateful let it continue let be a uh, a continuous thing mentoring girls to becoming the leaders of tomorrow and amplifying the voices of the girls i will talk to my friends and my peers also and tell them they can be leaders what they want to achieve their future career they can achieve they should just put more effort in what they do the message which i have for the girls is that opportunity comes once so when the opportunity comes, they should take it as a privilege to them and also they should join mentorship groups where they should be mentored uh, and get some education on how they could be successful in their life. I'm very happy that Plan International gave me this opportunity to come, to come and represent a, a large number of girls and young women back at my community and I'm telling them that they can always give girls and young women opportunities to shine so that if they get to interact with these people in these large seats or other people in uh, different sectors, they can always get spaces to explore and learn a lot and even get some of the opportunities within their careers. Girls take over! <laughs> I am Kimina, welcome. I am Elisa Thank you. Yeah.